Hello, I'm Oliver, or Big Oliver, from VGX Excelpedia. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Vio logo boot screen freeze problem, what many people are suffering with. Okay, so first of all, you need to make sure that your BIOS is set up correctly. Um, for, detail, for a detailed guide on how to do this, just go to www vgx-xl.com and click on the support button then go to the guides and troubleshooting under the guides and troubleshooting you'll see a bit called fix the file logo boot screen freeze in Windows 7 and Windows 8 this is the guide we need I'm explaining this um, using Windows 7 by the way okay so before you proceed you just need to make sure that your BIOS system is set up correctly. So all you do is turn on your computer, tap the F2 key, um, you'll come up with a boot menu screen. In there just make sure that the IEEE 1394 iLink Fireware is enabled, that needs to be enabled. And also check that the BIOS logo boot splash screen is also enabled. Click save and exit. Right, that's the first part, and the second part is down here. That's it written, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's nice and simple. Right, you just click on the Start button, navigate to Device Manager, I go Computer, System Properties, Device Manager. In here you see a section that says IEEE -E -E 1394 Bus House Controller. I will open that up. And here, where it says Texas Instruments 1394 OHCI um, Compliant Host Controller, this is an out of date driver. My apologies, no, this is an in date driver, this is the latest driver. When you update to Windows 7, it automatically puts this on being the latest driver. However, this is what's causing your boot, um, this is what's causing the boot screen to freeze. So what we need to do is, we open that up, and we say it's working properly, but it's not causing your system to have problems. So we're going to open it up, we're going to click on driver, then we're going to click on update driver, then we're going to click on browse my computer for driver software. Right, now you click let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Okay, it brings up this screen here. Make sure it's ticked, it's a bit easier if it's ticked, you see, so tick it, and down here, on minus three, there could be more or less on yours, and the one we want is this one here, and what says legacy on the end, if you need legacy on the end, you know you've got the right one, right, so I'm going to click that, double click, there we go, Windows has successfully updated your driver software, Right, that's it. Job done. Close it all up. And you shouldn't have any more problems with your um, boot screen freezing. Thank you for watching. And um, check out www.vgx-xl.com. Thanks, bye.